So we'll use uh, cos as w. Well, we're going to treat it more like a homolateral salt, okay? So he has like the cotidori, hom homolateral, okay? Homolateral. And you're doing jodon, jodon. Okay, so he's coming here. I don't let him touch it. Home. I have to get out of the way. And I can stay here. Block this and move that. In. So I have to yield. It of course looks like uh, I'm moving to the outside and then uh, we'll do the shoulder here every minute. So I'm moving this, then I push him like that, okay? Um, but uh, you're going to see if I push him like this, then I can't really do the entry. If I were to enter normally, I'd be over here, okay? Uh, you're going to pay attention to your hands, okay? So I am going to reach for contact, and this hand's going to do an inner spiral here. That just makes me go from the outside to the inside, you see? And as I continue, you're going to see that that hand is almost there on his head. So outside, there it is right there. All I got to do is that small entering, and then it was on the So Outside, inside, there it is right there. And I enter, and it continues its inward spiral. Outside, inside, I enter, it continues the inward spiral. Do it again. Outside, inside, I enter, there's the inward side. You see that? In there, this one is not going to go like this. It's going to go, stop, slide down. It's going to go this way. This way. Inward spiral, inward spiral too. And so when I do this step to bring that hand on, this knife edge is going to turn into this check. Here you go. Do it again without paying attention to the second hand. A little slower so you can see. Warm. This hand doesn't go from my right to my left. This hand goes in. This one goes in this way. But I rotate around it. Warm. And that's what gives it that outward appearance. But my hands are, in essence, slow, slow. Warm, warm. Boom, doing that. And he's falling into all oh, the wave right there. Boom. Boom, I'm on the 
outside, letting him pass. I'm going this way, letting him pass. All I gotta make sure is that I'm not where he can grab. But I don't want to be a million miles away. I want to lead him into his attempt. That's what I want. And lead him in. Oh, there it is. Oh. And much tighter. Wow, there it is. I want to tell you once and for all that if you use your arms to work two points of a lever, it is incorrect. There's only one single pivot point and it is his spine. Okay, so as he comes in, oh, you're not going to hook here. Do you see that? You're not going to hook here and use these two points to turn him. You will not do, I'm on top, I didn't hook it. I didn't hook it, Sensei. I'm on top, or maybe I'm grabbing. Can you come around here? The only way you can do that is you start breaking all kinds of other correct forms. So, if I'm here and I can use this lever, then my center is in the middle of my hands and I am not in back of him. I am on the side of him. Oh, he's gonna go by me. And I'll show you how he goes by me. Okay, so. You have the first yield, but he's trying to grab, we're stuck, okay? And when I do the kazushi, it's moving him with the adhesion, boom. <clears throat> then the other hand picks it up. The other hand is gonna pick up that adhesion uh, on the turn. So I am going to add to it on that turn. That's uh, one, I'm bringing him in, I'm bringing him around on the turn. Because I want to get in the back, and right now his back is not accessible. See? You're going to do this. Well, when you start turning, you're not in the back of him, and you do this. So I'm going to yield, I'm going to bring him in. Boom, oh, and I'm going to step here. Behind him. Boom, bring him in. Wow. Okay? So I need to be in the back. Not have my center between my two hands, one hand on his neck and one hand on his wrist. Also, what I'm doing here is uh, you, you, you would smell, he's so close. He's so close. So if I just go here, this superficial surface contest, 
a contact, he can go over and grab it. But if I have the adhesion, he, he will not find that easy. He can't get off of that friction. He goes, and I'm just passing it. Same thing, he can't go out either. Oh, he's stuck into it. Oh. So when you see the contact on his arm, when I come around here, it's the same thing. I'm not just here, touching him here. It's stuck. So as he goes forward, he's feeling huge friction. That's why we're stuck together. And as I move around, we're going to see that this hand picks up that IK adhesion. Just like this hand has adhesion, and it starts to go, and now it's going to go off. You see? That's why Kitty Ganesh works like that. Over here, but now this hand is going to pick it up. Before that happens, now this hand is sticking him. Okay? And now as you go around and you enter behind him, you're going to find that it's hard to do the adhesion there. It went past its yin phase. That's where this hand comes in. So he tries to go forward, and he can't go forward. You're just bringing that around. Which means this hand can't be used for your little pulling and things. Why is that important? Because eventually I'm gonna lose that hand. And any uke that keeps contact here, they did it themselves. He's, he's pushing back on me. He's pushing, I don't, have, I don't have anything here. You see, he's pushing on me. Pull your hand off. I can't stop that from there. You see that? So you all have your uke that's just in this cultural form and then you use that. So here I have his arm, here I have his arm. Now I'm gonna lose his arm. He pulls his arm in, it does not have anything. I still have his center. So we're gonna make you pull pull your arm in. Doesn't matter, doesn't matter to me. Because I never I never used it to take his kazushi. To take him into this kazushi here. This is different. Boom, and here and here, it's off in here. Boom. And he usually comes on the neck. No, he doesn't, he can take his arm back. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. In a good fighter way. You know, stick to you. You're making them stick to you. You know, culturally stick to you. Okay? So if you look at the first inward spiral, I was on the inside, but by continuing it, I get to the outside, you see? And the second inward spiral looks like it is going the wrong way, you see that? But because my body turns in the opposite direction, it will do your outward movement that you want. See, when you turn your body, that wrong way is doing the outward movement that you want. All this to tell you that a circle, a circular movement that is going left is actually going right, and one that is going forward is actually going backwards, backwards is going forward, and right is going left, okay? So when you think I'm taking them backwards, you need to do your circle forward. Not backwards, okay? So I'll get us to the point at the end, okay? So we're over here. And you picture that I am taking him backwards into this kazushi. So he's going to get up, and you're going to turn him. He's starting to turn towards me if you pay attention. Look how easy this is. Oh, that sucks, okay? But what your choreographed kid does is they stay like that. What we're gonna do instead is as he goes up, as he's starting to go up, I'm bringing him forward into it. I'm bringing him forward into it. I'll do Kodagash, but with his head, 
Oh my God, I should back over here. He was going forward in that circle. You know what I'm saying? Oh. He's going to get up and I'm going to bring him forward. I can move if I want. Forward. 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 Down, back, down, forward. Make the circle. He's now going backwards. Okay? Ready? Right 